There are those who say that love is sacrifice. Earlier today, I received a message from the caravan, from mum and dad, asking something pretty major of me, something that I would never have imagined myself doing if it hadn't been for the love I feel for and from my parents. I am going to make a very personal sacrifice today and just suck it up. I've got to feed the tomatoes. <laughs> With the daily updates you can't make up it's the Black Isle Correspondent. She lives in Fort Rose and tells us what goes on. If your isolation causes desperation, try the Black Isle Correspondent. If you're feeling grumpy, you'll find some company here. It's not how I saw my day going at all. Mum says, put a cup full of this into the rooser, fill it up with water. And then you pour it on the tomato plant. Look at it. Mm. Ooh, gross. That's not bonny. Looks like it's got tomato bits in it. Right, so, tomatoes are cannibals. Brilliant. Knew you shouldn't trust them. The tomato feed is mixed up. The rooser's ready to go. The one good thing about the coronavirus, I mean, you can't really call it a good thing, can you? But something positive to come out of all of this is that we're all much more aware of health and safety and hygiene and protective equipment than we ever were before. You already know that I take health and safety very seriously when I wore the cone of shame to hose out the blue bucket there behind me. Can you help me? Mum wore the sou'wester when we were doing the gutters out the front of the house. Well, look, if I fire me need it. For every job, there's the right gear to wear. I'm going in. Get back. Get back, you nasty tomatoes. Stay back there. You stay back, I say. Oh, it's because I love my mum and dad. Oh, be brave. Be brave, Matthew. Well, there you have it. The ultimate act of sacrifice. A well-fed tomato plant. I hope they're happy. Look at them. Delighted with themselves. Growing. Blooming. Feels quite good to nurture something like that. If only it wasn't flipping tomatoes growing on it. Anyway, I know a lot of you like them. Time now to feed the rest of the plants who just get water out of the hose. Talk about your special treatment, eh? Wrong setting. That's more like it. Why does it always rain on me? Tomatoes before hose, it seems. So street. I think that tomato plant has kind of fallen over. Maybe it's because it's been so well fed, it's had a growth spurt in the 10 minutes since I fed it. And it's now trying to kill me. Don't trust them, I told you! That's that. Get back. I've been very brave there. I might go and see if there's any like scorpions or spiders that need rehousing or something. It's a similar level of sacrifice. I need to get a medal for this. That would be nice. Recognition of my bravery.